Do you ever, ever have that sense that you'd like a do-over? <laughs> have the feeling like it would be nice to just start again um, in the way that we see some things? Well, if you do, I'm for you. And this is Jen. I am the founder of Laughing Lotus Wellness. And the entire month of April is all going to be dedicated to the idea of renewal. And so the single word renew is really kind of what I've based all of my content on for the month. And so as a purpose expert, one of the things that I am doing is trying to bring forward information um, to let you kind of digest in small pieces. And hopefully for the journey of your soul, right, elevating you into living your best purpose. And so um, this is the one for the very first week of April and I'm so excited about this content so um, for those of you that don't know me really well yet um, I'm Jen and my business Laughing Lotus Wellness has been built on a whole journey of 20 plus years of being a clinical social worker and then I went and got yoga certification, um, have a specialty in meditation. I'm a certified Reiki provider. I have crystal healing expertise. So I have all these kind of areas of things that I've delved into because they're just areas and passions of mine. And so that's a little bit about who I am. But really what I'm most excited about is sharing the content to hopefully help drive and help give you some sort of um, compass for your journey as you're working on these various areas of your life. So for April, we're in renew. And I like love this word. For any of you that have by any chance follow Adrian, um, yoga for yoga by Adrian, her month content is also renew, which is so cool. I felt like fangirl checking out a little bit when I found out I was like, Oh, so good because I love her. And so um, I'm super excited that her material actually just randomly matches up with mine. So super cool. And so um, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And so this first week of April is all about our personal agreements for purpose. And so the first person that I really know of that wrote about it in a way that I think has always really deeply resonated with me is Don Miguel Ruiz, who wrote The Four Agreements. And I have a Yoga Nidra series coming up starting on Sunday for his book about the personal agreement. So the timing of this is just perfect for renewing our sense of ourselves. And so if anyone's looking for some support in that as well, come join my uh, yoga journey. Let me know if you're interested and we'll get you directed to where you need to go to do that. But Don Miguel talks about them in this really simplified way, right? It's just four, it's four small agreements which are packed full of punch and so much energy and beauty. Um, they're just genius. And so for us, I wanted us to kind of break ourselves down into our agreements, our own personal ones that we carry with us. We can always read and borrow and aspire to use others, which is a great way to begin this journey. And I want you to know how to have your own. So one of the ways that I started this, and I always do this, is I like acronyms. It's just kind of one of my things. I love language and I love words and I love all things like that. So they just have a lot of meaning to me. So for the month of April, RENEW stands for Reset Energy in the New Lens as We Embrace the Whole of Us. And so I will have that floating around on social media. So you'll be able to find if you're like, what the what? I'll say it one more time, right? So here it is in a nutshell. Reset energy in the new lens as we embrace the whole of us. Renew. And so I want us to really start with the contracts and agreements that we have for ourselves. So these can look like positive and not so great. So I would tell you that as you poke around in agreements, if you bump into something you think, that's awesome, keep it, right? It's the ones that you bump into and go, ew, that feels awful, or that doesn't serve me anymore, right? You're like, oh, those are the ones we really want to pay special attention to. And so what I would invite you to do, I actually just recorded a meditation through Insight Timer for this journey um, to help cultivate. And so if you'd like, you can go into my um, library of meditations and uh, take a listen to that because that's a really nice accompaniment to what we're going to be talking about today. And so I just thought that this can be connected, you know, renewal can be connected to our thoughts, relationships, self-care, patterns, stories, and the lens that we use to look through. It just applies to our whole being our whole self and so there's so many neat ways when i was asking people today in insight timer i'm like you know what areas could you use some help in and the areas i heard a lot of self-care eating habits boundaries 
um, self-sabotage, um, comparison, overthinking, um, struggling to commit to goals, self-defeating behavior. So you can see a lot of like, you know, just this, these are the things that all of us struggle with, right? We all struggle with this. I'm going to come around with a story, I promise. But I wanted to lay that out there that those were just some of the things. Grief, um, finding work that I love. Oh, that's like purpose work. And that's like my favorite, but I just want to throw that out there. Letting go of certain relationships, right? These are, these are humanity struggles. These are all of us struggles. And so I was so grateful for their willingness to be vulnerable and share with me, um, to, to bring that content forward. And so those are some of the things I'm going to be trying to, to discuss in some capacity this month. That's a lot. Um, but we will be talking about the various areas. And one, um, like I said, is our personal agreements for starting with these ideas and our thoughts. And Buddha said that our thoughts are, that that is what we are. We are our thoughts. And so we know the weight and the impact and the energy that our thinking can carry. And it can either be like our best friend or our worst enemy. And so I want to start with this idea about renew, right? So we're going to reset the energy in the new lens as we embrace the whole of all of us. And so I want you to walk into this month with that notion of how we're going to approach the work that we're going to do.